If you follow the channel by now, you already know that I love making salsa. Salsa is something that I keep in my household very often. I make a batch of salsa probably once every two weeks. Now, one of my favorite ones is this salsa right here. Salsa verde with avocado. Fantastic, and it goes great almost on anything. So if you love guacamole and you love salsas, this salsa right here is for you. To start off, we're gonna need some type of peppers. You can use jalapenos or you can use serranos like I'm using. Now I'm using six peppers. This is the heat that I like, but if you don't want it as spicy, go ahead and reduce your peppers to your spice preference. To cook your peppers, all you have to do is just boil them for about 15 to 20 minutes until they're nice and soft. You will need one pound of tomatillos, a half of a bunch of cilantro, and about three to five garlics. I like a little bit of garlic pungent, so I like to add a little extra garlic. Also, two limes and one avocado. And you will also need a half of a small onion. Now, my blender is small, so I had to do this in two batches. So what I first did was add in the peppers, the onion, the tomatillos, and the avocado. So place all your ingredients in the blender, and if you could fit all, everything all in once, go ahead and do so. And add just about a half of a cup of that water and give it a blend. Now that we cleared up a little bit of room, now we're gonna go ahead and add in our cilantro, our garlic, lemon, and we're gonna season with just a little bit of salt. Now you don't wanna go too much on this part. You probably wanna do maybe about a teaspoon right now, and then check it after you blend it again. But now that we got a little bit of salt and everything else in there, we're gonna just go ahead and give this a, another final blend just to mix everything together. Check for seasoning and season salt to taste and your salsa is done. I have noticed keeping my salsas good for a very long time is putting them in a mason jar. Uh, I can go a few weeks without it getting rotten or moldy. So get you a mason jar and store your salsas there. Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. To get the full recipe, go to my website, cookingwithkirby.com. I'll actually leave the link in the video description and in the comment section, so that way you can get the full printable recipe. Now I have these recipes, they're really good. You should try them out. Now y'all be beautiful and take care.